IPBES is absolutely critical in order to prove the science policy interface. Good policy is based on good science and what the IPBS will do is to evaluate what do we know about biodiversity, our ecosystems, why are they important to human survival, what, what's, what's being degraded, what's getting better and what are the options to manage our ecosystems in a way that's good for poverty alleviation as well as the development of all humans. There's lots of organisations around the world that do one piece of uh, the biodiversity conservation work and that what IPBS will do is bring together all of the governments of the world with the major stakeholders, that's the biological conventions, it will bring the scientific community together, it will bring the NGOs, so we can all work together to decide what are the critical issues facing the world. What are the issues facing the destruction of biodiversity and ecosystem services? So we need to work together to understand what the challenges are of sustainable development, poverty alleviation, and how biodiversity is absolutely critical to that agenda. Well, once we've got the modalities and the institutional arrangements in place, we would understand how to operationalize the four work streams. And that is how do we stimulate new knowledge generation? How do we do assessments at the global, regional and sub-regional level? How do we make sure we have access to the policy relevant tools? And how to make sure we've got the appropriate capacity building activities? And of course those four issues are all highly interrelated. I see the IPBS as being very much a bottom-up driven process so there will be ownership in each of the regions, Latin America, uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa, Asia and the Pacific, Eastern Europe and of course in Europe and North America. So I see very much a way of operationalizing the platform so we can do the four activities at the regional level and then integrate them up at to the global level.